Okay, for today I'm going to do two more magnets like I did yesterday. Now to prep these, I just used that Apple Barrel Black. It's an outdoor indoor paint, and I mixed it with this multi-purpose sealer. And I painted these because these are wood. These are an inch and a half in diameter. And that is it. Now, these are going to be fridge magnets. So when we're done, we'll glue a magnet on the back. I just used that E6000 glue. And I get it in a clear. And I just put some on the back and glue a magnet on there. So for today, the colors I'm going to be using, I think I want to do, oh, I don't know, I did these two yesterday, if you didn't see the previous video. So I want to do something to make just like a set of four. I think four is a good amount. Um, I think I'll do some with some oranges for today. At least for one of them. So I've got this orange flame and a bright orange. And what color do we want to go with that? How about well, maybe red. I don't do a lot of orange and reds together. So we'll do that. And of course I'll pull out some warm white here to go with it because I'm tying them all together so well maybe I'll use that snow titanium we'll see all right for the first one I'm going to use the bright orange color for my center and I'm trying to make these all look different and that I want them to be look like a set but I want them to to look different if that makes any sense so for this one I'm going to do a bigger dot in my center because I've used small dots for everything else so I'm going way big I'm going to go up to the number 20 and I'm using that bright orange and I just eyeball the center usually not too far off Although now that I say that, this one's probably a little bit more off than normal. Normal. Mm, I think I'm gonna leave it. Okay, so that was with the number twenty. Now I'm going to switch and use. No, I'm gonna use not that white. I'm gonna use the snow titanium white. And a number six. We're just going to go big all the way around and see what this looks like. We always do top and bottom, side to side. Then I think I'm going to go one in between. Now I'm going to switch to this other orange, which is Orange Flame. And I'm going to put that in the next row. And I'm still using number six. Magnets are fun because there's not much to them. And you can just be as creative as you want to be. Sometimes I like to use teeny tiny dots and do a lot of detail. And other times I just like to use the bigger dots and just make it kind of colorful. Okay, and still using the number six, I'm going to do one more row with red dots.
as you get out to the edges you could tell how far off your center dot is you can measure it if you're smart you probably do me on the other hand I like to wing it <laughs> okay so now to tie it in with those other ones I have that white dot all the way around so I'm going to use the number three and I'm going to put a white dot around so it kind of goes with the others I'm just going to put it close to the edge. And it's funny how some little detail, just like this, people will pick out that they go together because of that little white border. Now I'm going to move this one to the side and let it dry. And I'm going to come back and top dot on it. But for now I'm going to just leave it sit there. So now the next one, let's see what colors we should do. Probably some greens. We haven't done any greens. So I'm going to need a light green and a dark green and maybe a brown or a tan. Or something a little bit different okay so now we have one that's just polka dotted and then a, from yesterday I have a swirl and a kind of a flowery pattern so now I'm gonna start out with a bigger dot but not as big as last time I'm gonna go with a number 12 and I'm gonna start with this lighter green color with citron green okay and do a dot in the center now I think I'm going to fill this one up more so Let's go with a number two, and I'm going to use the same color, and I'm going to do, oh, it's probably going to end up with 16 dots. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to do 12, I think. So two dots in the middle of those. I'm going to go up to the number three and I'm going to do another yet another row with that same color Now I'm going to go up to the number four 
And I'm going to use a slightly darker color. Well, it's quite a bit darker. Festive green. I'm going to do another row in that. I don't do magnets. I try and mix it up and do some with bigger dots and some with littler dots and so on. Now I'm on to the number five. If I can find it. There it is. And I'm going to do another row of that same green. This is on the order of a fade, but... Not really, because it's they're more a contrast in color. I was going to use a tan, but I don't think I want to on this. I'm just going to keep it these greens. I'm liking the way that looks. So that was number five, and I'm going to go to number six and do one more row of that green. Okay, and just to tie it into that other, I'm going to put those white dots around it again. And you don't have to. I like it just that way. I think that's kind of cute. But I'm going to do it anyways. So number three and white dots around the edges. Okay, now the other one should be dry, so I'm going to go in and top dot on those. That center isn't dry, but everything else is. So I think I want to go with the number three, and I'm going to top dot the red onto those big white circles in the center there. And then I'm going to tap that white, still with the number three, and the reds.
And now I have two different color oranges in there, but you really can't say that I have two different color oranges. The one in the center is lighter than the one on the outside. But I'm going to take some of that outside color. The um, It's actually flame orange or orange flame. And I'm going to lighten that. But I'm going to lighten it quite substantially. And that to top dot with. And, you know, you could just eliminate that bright orange and just do orange flame for the whole thing if you wanted to. Or vice versa. Depends on what colors you have. Because you really can't tell the difference in those oranges. But you will now because I'm really lightening it up with some white. Okay. And I'm going to tap that on those orange ones with the number three still. And I think I want to tap down on that middle one, so I'm going to pause for just a minute, and I'm going to dry that. Okay, now I think I'm going to put a white dot, and I'm going with the number 12. going to leave that one just like that. And I'm going to go over to the other one we just did and I'm going to oh. And I'm going to tap that on that. So for this, I'm going to take and I'm going to lighten each of those colors and I'm going to Well, I don't I think I'm going to go with this dark green. I'm going to lighten it with some white and then I'm going to do like some of those outside ones. I don't think I'm going to do all of them. I kind of like the way it looks now, just the way it is. I'm going to do some, just maybe the outside border of them and call it good. Either I'm going to make it worse or I'm going to like it more. We'll see. All right. This is a number three, and I'm just going to go and do this last row, I think. We'll see what it looks like when I get this on there. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I like that. Okay, so this is what we did for today. And these two magnets. And like I said, I just used that E6000 and I glue on the magnet on the back. And you can spray these with like an acrylic sealer or you can um, resin them if you like to. It's up to you. But between yesterday and today, we've got a set of four cute little magnets for the fridge. So I hope you liked it. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you. And if you are, thank you as always. 
and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.